Well, this goes. Headed off to work. Hey, good morning, everybody. Beautiful, brisk April morning. Uh, please forgive my voice. I'm a little under the weather. I guess allergies are kicking up. So. But hey, anyways, I uh, really appreciate the uh, some of the love and support that I've already gotten. Um, I did not expect really anybody to watch what I was doing here. Uh, like I said, it was mainly just for me. But um, I do really appreciate it. Uh, so anyways, um, we're upgrading or we're getting serious, not really upgrading, but we're getting serious. Uh, so shortly after I get done babbling here, uh, you guys should see an intro if I do it right, if I can get it to work anyway. Anyways, as you can see, things kind of changed. Um, we mowed the yard. I moved the camper around, got it set up and it's semi-permanent spot uh, it's hooked to the house now both electric i've uh, got it hooked to the septic system and um did a quick just kind of get the restroom working inside the house so we can take a shower um, and got my outdoor kitchen set up and you know table out here to enjoy this beautiful beautiful scenery of nature out here so anyways i'm gonna uh, run in finish up my coffee and uh, maybe eat me a bowl of cereal and i'll catch you guys in a moment in there for a half hour and clouds start rolling in so uh, i guess we'll see what we can do uh plan is is to do some bush hogging as you can see i want to try to get as much of this cleaned up as i possibly can so um yeah let's just go ahead and get down the road here and get started Oh, well, I hope this finds everyone well. Oh, I talked with a uh, young boy by the name of Jake Jackson. Uh, he's the young gentleman that uh, started or farmed this last year. And uh, I think he's going to come over and we're going to discuss... Uh, what it would be to for him to lease it this year and my neighbors have made it back so uh they've got a daughter that does barrel racing so uh I, they go away for the weekend sometimes in competition all righty here we are like i said i got some things put away I thought I was going to have more room. I didn't realize this trailer pretty much takes up this entire side. So I don't know if I need anything this big anymore. I may end up trying to trade it off to a smaller one or something. I don't foresee myself using something like this. I used to haul a lot of hay back home with it. So, of course, it did come in useful bringing... Uh, Bring my son's car out in the tractor. So, uh, yeah. Anywho. See if we can get this old girl fired up. All right, 
let's prime the glow plugs here. Not as much of a cold start as I thought it would have. Alrighty. Some of this is kind of weedy out here, but I may go ahead and cut it up when I do hay. I don't know. I'll try to make up my mind as I'm doing the rest of this. So I'm hoping my volume, my voice is loud enough for you. Um, my son called me and he watched my first two and he said uh, that I needed to turn myself up somehow. I think I got it figured out. That or I'm you know, just end up talking a little bit louder. So uh, anyways, you know, feel free to let me know. It is pretty nice living on a bed in the street. I don't really have to worry about much. We get out here. Lock the pins. Is that one? Is that one? Slow here. What's dust? So, if I was successful, you guys saw a intro. Wow, I need to learn how to drive. Um, if I wasn't, uh, it means I'm an idiot. Still can't figure it out. But uh, feel free to let me know what you think. Um, it will evolve. Obviously, I don't have a ton of footage, uh, you know, to contribute too much to an intro. So, uh, do what I can with what I got right now. But as I get more footage, it, you know, it may change. We'll see. Um, I did get me a little cheap drone. Matter of fact, I'll put that up here in a minute. That way you guys don't have to listen to me babble the entire time. So. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to try to get a little bit more serious with this. I mean, I'm still doing it for me, still doing it for fun. When it doesn't become fun anymore, then I probably won't do it anymore. I'll tell you what, I need to trim some trees. Yeah. I've walked a lot of this property, not everything. I go back in there uh, about a hundred yards or so. You know, I could, if I wanted to, could uh, have logging up here or something come in and maybe cut back some of these trees and get a little bit more land. But uh, honestly, as many deer as I've got around here, uh, that may be a better trade off. Fill my freezer. Yeah, it's like little pockets. I could clear some things out, just have little pockets back there, put a gazebo back there or something. New land. It's always it's always fun to discover little things. Main thing I want to do now is 
get rid of some of these bushes. Place, uh, obviously, with, uh, you know, I got two rundown houses and then a piece of property that uh, is just leased by another farmer. And you don't expect the farmer that's growing crops to take care of everything. Of course, the, the other person that owns it, um, he's not really doing anything with it, so why should he try to keep it up? You know, so you get into this, what we got right now is an overgrown piece of property, so. But hopefully we can change all that. Flip the building there. So, uh, and my wife was talking about the house and what we want to do, whether we want to renovate that one, tear it down, rebuild what we want to do, but uh, I think we've decided we might clear a few trees right in here and set our house in this area. Uh, I think we want to try to do some solar for power. They even put up a wind generator as well, just something that uh, I'm not a prepper by any means, but uh, you know, just for, you know, in case the way things are right now, you never know. So, I think that might be the first thing that I look at is trying to get some solar out here. Uh, you know, that'll just help me on my energy bills anyway. Try to clear all these trees out as well. Not clear them out, but uh, cut them back, trim them up. We can get up underneath of them. So anyways. The, uh, drone in the air and you guys can follow along I think I'll maybe what they call it uh, I don't know put some music to it speed it up uh, time lapse yeah that's what they call it so, anyways uh, yep once I get it set up we'll catch you guys in just a minute
wonder who this could be. Howdy. Well, that was Mr. Jackson. Spent a lot more time with him than what I really expected to, but uh, yeah. So he's gonna lease a couple of fields. Um, let me get my drone out, and uh, I'll just try to guide you guys along. Trying to get used to controlling this. I think what we're gonna do, we discussed it. I don't see much reason for having multiple little fields here. So uh, I think we're gonna combine these. Oh, that's my wife. I gotta take this. Oh, sorry about that. Anyways, uh, we talked about there's no sense in having a bunch of little small fields. Um, so I'm going to have him combine this field here along with that field there with the cotton. Then that smaller field over there. And just combine them all into one. And he can, I think he said he's going to grow soybeans or something this year because the way inputs are right now. Uh, which I don't blame him. Hopefully the soybeans will hold out price-wise for him. But um, these two fields here, I'm going to have him kind of straighten them up a little bit. Um, not for sure what was going on with the previous owner. Uh, why he didn't do this to begin with. Didn't make much sense. But uh, I'm going to grow some sweet corn in these two fields here. But uh, since he's got... Uh, his plow out here or his ripper or whatever he's going to have. I'm just going to have him straighten these two up. Um, make it a little bit more conducive to actually planting something in there. So, uh, But we come to a good price. Uh, I think there's about 13, no, 15 acres here, I think, is what we come up with uh, when we include plowing all this in. But, uh, yeah. So that's going to give me some extra money, uh, which is a good thing, because I want to find me a corn planter, nothing huge, uh, something small. I uh, really don't want to be planting all that by hand. So, uh, but yeah, so that's, that's what's going to happen. Uh, he should be out here, you know, a day or two or something like that. Go ahead and try to get everything ready. Because uh, he's going to need to be planted here very, very soon. So. All right, we're going to get back to mowing. that drone I missed some spots out here so we'll try to get that knocked out now so anyways yeah uh, I think I'll be good I like watching I mean I you know I like seeing crops grow uh, back home 
for a little while. I worked for a pretty big farm. Uh, did uh, at about 25,000 acres, a little over. Uh, they would double crop about 4,000 acres a year. So uh, right after harvesting corn, uh, plant 4,000 acres of wheat. Then in June, they would harvest that wheat and then turn around and put in a short season soybean. And uh, that's what we called our double crops. But it worked out pretty well. Uh, in total, they used to do about a half and half soybean uh, corn mixture, but uh, they sold directly to distilleries. And so the demand for corn got a lot higher than that of soybeans. So every year they did about 5,000 acres of soybeans in total. That's include the double crops and the full season. And then about uh, close to 20,000 acres of corn. And I'm telling you, we would start harvest in September and get done about Christmas time if the weather held out for us. So it was uh, a lot of work. Many, 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 many hours. And we're talking, you know, on the average, you know, 90 hours a week. So that gets, uh, it's tiring. But anyways, so yeah, so I like to like to watch crops grow. Uh, I know a little bit about you know planting and harvesting and, and the whole nine yards, and eventually we might get into something. But for right now, it's just uh, I want to try to focus on. Um, still got the farm back in Kentucky. I want to try to get some of my cows brought over here from there I got quite a few not going to break them all I'll find my my favorites, my cream of the crop and get them brought over my son's going to buy some and then I'm going to sell a bunch because he can't right now really keep up with the amount that we have uh He's doing a pretty decent job, but I've got a guy that comes around and feeds right now over there, so that's costing me money. I need to try to get back to over there and try to get some stuff sorted out. Of course, when I go, I'll bring you guys along. Oh, I miss it, but man, I tell you what, the deer just unbelievable. Of course, come deer season, you won't find them. The way it always works. In. I got a little bit left, so uh, I think I'll throw the drone back up and uh, we'll try to knock this out.
Well, I did it. I busted uh, the center yoke in here. So, done it before. Uh, for some reason, these things are just notorious for that. Uh, didn't see the rock. And uh, so, now I've got to pay for it. But, um, I'm going to walk. And, let me see. Got my four wheeler there, or the truck there. I guess I'll walk down to the truck. Um, I think there's, what they call it, the tractor supply, not to be confused with tractor supply company or TSC. So, um, go down here, see if they can get me a part. Uh, it'd be nice if they have it in stock. That way I can get this finished up today. So, uh, let me get down here to the truck. And uh, I'll get back with you. We'll, uh, we'll go for a little drive. All right. Always something. First, I've been paying a little bit more attention where I was going versus the... Uh, Versus the drone, probably would have seen it, but, uh, yeah, that's the price we pay. Why well, he's got lime down. Now, that's one thing I didn't need to check the pH values and things. Uh, not that young Mr. Jackson doesn't know what he's doing, but I want to make sure that he's taking care of my land. So if it needs some lime, I'm going to expect them to uh, put it on there. Here we go. Hey, got an opening. Look at that. I'll see Pine Ranch. Anyways, big grass field. Another grass field. I guess he, uh, he, she, they, whatever. Let's do that for uh, horses. That's my problem. I always look around and I see all the grass fields and thinking, man, how many rolls could I get off of that? Because uh, when I take you guys along, you see my operation there in Kentucky, you'll understand why I'm always looking. So I got several head of cattle. Let me park this thing. Not too busy right now. All right, I'm gonna shut it off. I'll uh, see you guys when I'm done. Well, bad news is I can't get it today, which not really uh, gonna be able to finish anyway. But he did say he could get it tomorrow. Um. Uh, you know, if, I, if this was a John dealer, John Deere, wow, I can't even talk today. This was a John Deere dealership. I could probably walk in there and grab it, but uh, it's going to set me back a couple hundred bucks. As it, you know, it's just part of it, a uh, lot of it being green. The other part of it just being tractor. And I guess the third part being the days that we living right now so we'll head back to the house nice little massy oh look at that 
That gives me some ideas for later. Old truck windshield wipers only work on one speed. So, North Carolina, it's uh, kind of like it. A little bit flatter right here than what I'm uh, used to back home. But, uh, all in all, nice little community. People I've met so far are very helpful, uh, very kind. Got a great little Italian restaurant down the road. Uh, I'm a sucker for some Italian, let me tell you. So, you know, spaghetti. That's probably my favorite meal. Followed very closely by lasagna. Bucks mowing yards around here. So I guess what they call them episodes. It's like a TV show or something like that. Uh, I just call it towards the end of the video. But uh, yeah, I think we'll end it. Uh, I'll pick the camera back up whenever uh, whenever I get the part in and it's not raining. I was really, really hoping. Pull in the driveway so my wife is gone. I was really, really hoping to get that bush hogging done today. But it is what it is. You know, it's just life. So, uh, if you watch this all the way through, uh, great. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm not going to bug you on subscribing. So, but, uh, you know, if you like what you see, like what you hear, uh, and you want to continue uh, catching up on what I'm doing, you know, I'm back. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to get in here, get out of this rain, and uh, maybe fix me a bologna sandwich. I will talk to you later.